doing it. I don't know why I thought what I needed to say was so much more important than what someone else had to say, but sometimes I did. So what did we had to learn to do? I had to learn how not to interrupt. I'm going to tell you three ways that you can stop this bad habit. This is Joyce, the practical Christian woman helping you love your life and your marriage. The first way I've discovered that I could not interrupt was to first stop use a sticky note. And when I was in a meeting, I took notes. And even if my husband was the one leading the meeting, instead of interrupting him and telling him what I wanted to say, I wrote it down on a slip of paper and handed it to him. That way, we kept them, didn't interrupt the meeting, and it could go on without me seeming like a rude person. The second way I had to learn how to not interrupt was when my husband was talking. Again, I've had to learn this a lot from home, and you might too. But I discovered that when I wanted to interrupt and say things, I could help, I'd put my fingers up, and I'd hold up one. That meant I had something else, one thing I wanted to say. I had two things I needed to say and three things I needed to say. And my husband started washing my fingers and counting my fingers. He said, oh, I see you have something to say. I didn't know I had something to say. The third way is when I got really, really felt like I couldn't control myself, I couldn't say anything. Put your hand like this, put your elbow in it like this, and do this. You really can't interrupt me. I know I sound like a fool, but you really can't interrupt anybody when you want to. Yeah, I'm doing that. Learn to listen to what the other person is saying. If what you have to say is so important, there will be time to say it. 